All right, um, let's see. Let's see if we live. I know people got to be bored or just tired. Probably laying down in bed right now. Oh, yes, we are live. No, it's not showing. Are we live? Are we? Yes, we are. Why is it not showing over here in my tablet? I know if you guys are watching this right now, you guys probably bored at home. About to do some coral feeding before my lights go off pretty soon. So I got to go get the food ready. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So today was, you know, I could say a peaceful day for me. No stress. Freddy Basket, what's going on, brother? Wepa. <laughs> Aquí hacer un poquito de coro feeling. Chai Town, what's going on, brother? Trying to make sure I connect on the, on the tablet to make sure I don't, what you gonna call it, I don't skip nobody from the people come through the chat. Because sometimes I, I be, I don't want people to think that I'm ignoring them, you know. So, yeah, I <clears throat> I got to meet with a fellow reefer today with uh, Mr. DKH. So shout out to him, you know, great guy, humble. I gave him, uh, you know, a couple things that I had that I could cheer with him. Clax, what's going on, brother? So he got a good coral, uh, how can I say, a coral hole <laughs> or overhaul, whatever you call that, uh, for his tank. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, he got a he got a nice, nice, nice um, frags, you know. I wish I could give him something better, bigger, you know, but it's what I have available right now. I mean, I, I had time to frag all the stuff, but then I needed to make water to replace our water. Excuses, you could say. <laughs> but I know, you know, it was good for him to to stock his tank again. It's some easy stuff. I mean, he knows what he's doing already. It's not like he can keep hotter quarters, um, you know, more hard to keep corals. He know what he's doing, but he was telling me he didn't have luck with the SPS that he had. So I gave him a few, I gave him a few SPS still, um, you know, Montes, stuff like that. I showed you guys before. But I still got to do some clear, clearing or some frag still. Still debating what I'm going to do with the Zors. Um, yeah, still don't know. It's too many, man. And they once they grow, they take over the spot where they are. And sad that for this tank right now, I don't have a spot that I can say that I want Zors to grow on. <laughs> yep, don't look at the wrong man. Don't. I did that the other day. Was getting peaky on one, and guess what? Now I don't want to open. <laughs> oh man, those chemitis. They got something against me. I don't know. But they still there. It's still like two polyps on um, open. So I start looking at them. So hopefully they they come back. But the strange thing with those is they in the same spot that I have my blow pops on Zoas. And I didn't do nothing to those. I didn't even look at those. And they started closing on me. And I don't know. Some Zoas are more picky than others. It's, it's just what it is. And the most colorful ones, they just more hard to keep, you could say. 
But ones that you don't even pay attention to, they just grow. They just grow and and they don't want to stop growing. And you want them to stop, but they just keep going. And it just, I, I think it's, it's more when you want this, a, a, any type of soil to grow, that's when it just don't want to do it. Yeah, do it, brother. Do it. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. I got some that we can, you know. Not much, not nothing too high end, you know, but some nice ones, some nice ones. That we could probably do something. Uh, I can't wait for them just to fill the whole tile. That way, they more easy to frag. Because right now they're in the first up plug that I had them. Carlos Chavez, what's going on, brother? Um, so right now they're in the the first plug that I, you know, I basically put a plug on top of the tile, so that way I keep the main the main colony in the middle and just um, break from the sides. But things are doing great with the tank, man. And you guys know the tank been through hell. The power outage, uh, I mean, three days with no light, just water running through the pumps. But things are, like, growing. Colors are coming nicely. Um, you know, just to enjoy. Enjoy to see the tank doing like that. Everything good, brother? Oh, Tropic, man. Now that I see you, bro. Last time I saw you commenting on it, man, I'm sorry I didn't see you. Um, I keep saying it in every lie. I say, Tropic, if you're watching, my bad. But, yeah, man, everything's good, brother. Everything's good. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow in stream, in stream labs, um, in the phone, it won't show everybody. Or if, if it did show you when you came last time, I just didn't see you. You know, probably was away from the phone. And then when I was looking over at the video... That's when I saw you commenting on it. But I don't want you to feel that I was ignoring you, brother. <clears throat> but yeah, so... But yeah, man, just happy with the tank, the way things are going. Uh, I guess what I'm feeding is what's doing the job. Haha, <laughs> I know you don't, brother. Um, so I'll be feeding oyster fees, refroids um fuel and sometimes a little bit of phyto i don't feed phyto like that because that every time i feed phyto I, I get that algae on the glass that i don't like so but the oyster fees man if you guys haven't tried it try it you won't regret you won't regret i've been using it already for uh, i mean ever since i knew about the product I could say. Um, first, I would use Broska feeding, just throwing in the power heads. And lately, I've been target feeding some of the SPS more than anything. Um, and I'm definitely seeing changes in color. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing, brother. With algae, man, once I see like a little bubble forming on the on the on the rocks, I just go with my brush and because, like, like I say, the tank is against the wall, and the other part of the tank, I can I can reach to it or see it right to to clean it, you know. Chip, what's going on, brother? But yeah, algae is one thing, man. The like, soon as I see it. I get down with a brush and just brush it off. Don't don't even give it a chance to um, get settled or, or wherever it's settling, because once you do that, it just it just take over. It just take over. It happened to me in the past. I even had turf algae at one point. I had that red one, that bad yo man. That gym was so bad, so bad. It was crazy. It was crazy. You kill it, you, you scrape it off with a, I was using a metal brush. Even brushing the zoas and everything on top of, on top of that rock. Back to original. 
What do you mean back to original? <clears throat> Man, just get busy one day, brother. Just get busy one day. I, I, I know it's a lot of rocks to brush off, but just do it man just do it you see i i i say like 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 the way i see algae is like it's a plant basically you know it's a plant and and, and like anything in life you stress it out it's gonna die you know of course you know you gotta maintain your nutrients and all that in the water for it to not come back and you know and keep growing but Oh, okay, how you had it before, yeah. But brush it off, man. Keep stressing it. Don't let it settle, and you see, it will eventually start growing in all the places where where basically it can grow, or or it's, it, it don't take over, you know. It don't just bloom like that. And that's what I did with that turf algae. It's gone. I did that with um, that. Rest line that was coming. I know a lot of people had it in frags because I, I saw a lot of vendors selling those frags with some type of rest line on the frags. And yeah, definitely. <laughs> Honestly, yep. <clears throat> but even that that red one that was kind of like a slimy. You touch it, it was slimy on the rock on the um, plugs. And even that one, I, I just eradicated out of the tank. I, I think I did a video on that. And that I started once, yeah, I switched every frag, you know, changed the plugs or the tiles <clears throat> so I could get rid of it like that. But the rest, I just started brushing it, brushing it out of the tank. No water change. I just kept on um, changing my, my filter flaws, and that's it. And every time I see one, just keep tackling it until until it died off. And I still see it, you know, I ain't going to say that I, I, I finished it completely, but <laughs> the one that is in the tank is scared to grow. Because <laughs> I know once it grow, I'm going to attack it and it's going to die. It's going to die, die. <clears throat> but, yeah, brother, so I'm glad all you guys are here, you know, not leaving me by myself. <laughs> Do some coral feeding. I got to grab the food. I fed them earlier, like today was a good day for them. The Aiken still, they closed up because they still eating some of what I fed earlier. I fed them heavy, but I want to focus more on the SPS. I was more feeding the, like the Zoas, the, um, you know, the Hammers, the LPS, but not the SPS. So the SPS get that little nice juice. Some oyster fees and some fuel. A little bit of refroid too. Let me go grab it in the fridge. Give me one second, guys. formula right here. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but that's the formula. Gotta get a cup. I need a cup, cup. I need a cup. So how everybody spend their weekend, man? It was a nice long week, and I'll back to work tomorrow. No good. <laughs> I'm not looking forward for tomorrow. South Reef, what's going on? Everything been good, brother. Everything been good. Th thanks to God, everything been good. A little bit, you know, like things always happen, man. All the things that we got to worry about that's going on. 
behind scenes, but it is what it is. We just got to deal with them as they come. Nothing to stress, you know. Like, you cannot stress with, like, bad situations because nothing comes comes out right, you know. You just got to stay focused, see your options, what you can do, and go from there. Because if if I stress over what's going on right now, my brothers, what you guys are looking at right now is going to have to go. So, I ain't doing that. That's a no-no. If If anything goes, it will be the big one, not a small one. Or maybe the corals only, you know, that I can make money out of it because basically that's that's the situation, you know. You, like to solve problems, situation on day, you need money. But nothing to worry about yet. Everything's good still. So a little bit of fuel here. So this is some mixing it right here. Fuel with oyster feeds together. But we all good, brother. Straight reefer. My bro, I was calling you, brother. I was calling you. Um, Kung Fu Coral, um, reach out to me. We got to talk. We got to talk, my brother. Now, should I feed benefits? What do you guys think? Should I give the corals a little bit of benefits today? Ha, <laughs> you was sleeping, brother? It's all good, bro. Now I know you're awake. I will bother you after the stream. <laughs> so, a pinch with my fingers of refroids. You don't want those phosphates to go crazy, you know? Ariesito. How you doing, brother? Cito. Should I feed benefits or should I keep it just refroid fuel and oyster fees? I fed the, yo the fish. If you guys never um, fed your fish, fish eggs from San Francisco Bay, buy them and feed them, man. They love it. My fish love fish eggs. I don't know what type of fish eggs they're eating. Maybe clownfish eggs. Maybe crab eggs. Who knows? What what eggs can be collected like that to have them frozen in the freezer or in cubes? Those got to be big fish. So I put a pinch of Benepets too, you know. You know what I don't like about Benepets? The only thing, because I don't know what it is. That fool got some white little chunks or something in there. And I don't know what it is. So if you guys have any idea... What in God's name is those white little particles inside Benefit's food? Let me know. I'm going to reach out to them and see if someone is kind enough to answer me and let me know what, what the heck is that. Unless I, ha I, ha I, I bought a bad batch. Right? Maybe it's that. Maybe I'm the lucky winner. Like I'm always is. The lucky winner. But yeah, guys, today the phone is charged, so don't worry. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. Let me move you guys closer for the... Look at me thinking that I could grow SPS. <laughs> move you guys so you guys can see some sticks. Alright, so now I need my takey bear. Stir right quick. I used to feed back in the days with the turkey baster until, until I came across the pipettes. Once I came across pipettes, way easier. I didn't waste no more food. Doing what? I'm doing what? I don't know. I forgot what I talked about already five minutes ago or two minutes ago or a couple seconds ago. My, my mind being out of it, my brother. And you know what's going on. So, yeah, guys, man. So, I know Mr. DKH probably sleeping right now, but like I said before, I hope he enjoyed the coral that I gave him. 
you guys see now this whole side is clear no more corals there that's where I got his corals um, I gave him a GSP that I had over there in the back my beautiful GSP the people don't like GSP nowadays man but listen listen stop being picky stop being picky don't complain when the other corals don't grow if you don't like GSP that's why the, your other corals don't grow because they mad at you excuse me a second yeah Well, that looks more, much better. The frags? Yeah, bro. Like this one right here. I know, you know, it's hard to see right now. But, bro, it got some purple in it. This one? This joint right here. That look nice. Not in the camera right now, but that look nice. And this one, they look white to you guys. Well, even to me. But when you look at it with the glasses, it's pink. And then the bottom, what is encrusted to the plug, is like yellow and pink. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this one... The color is coming back. That burgundy, burgundy that, that I posted on Instagram. And it's growing. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Look at that stick right there, bro. You see, your boy can grow some sticks. Not all the corals on the ground. What do you mean not all the corals on the ground? Bro, GSP is the best. Look at that coral moving, bro. Fletcher Wright, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. About to feed the corals. I know it's, what, 22 minutes ago I said, I, I said that since I started the stream. I still haven't started feeding the corals yet. Alright, let's do this. Let me turn off the skimmer first. So always turn off your skimmer when you're feeding. Your return pump is off. Oh, I gotta give me another Wi-Fi plug search or whatever you call that joint. That way I don't have to be pressing one button here, another button here, another button here. Yeah, brother, you know how it is, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Try. <laughs> try, try. Some things, you know. It's, it's like anything. Some things you see them doing like amazing that you be like, wow, I'm doing something right. But then all the things you look at it, you be like, hmm, what's wrong with this one? <laughs> but that that's how it is. I got used to not even paying attention to the corals no more, and I see growth. When I don't pay attention, I don't. I, I see growth. I see better colors. Come on, Nemo, stop it. So. Clear response from the polyps. That's what I like to see. The Walt Disney. Look at this Walt Disney. When you see a Walt Disney this color. Still got the two polyps. So we're going to feed those two polyps. A lot of food. Look at this one. Open up the polyps right away. Like they know. I don't know if you guys be paying attention to your corals. But. Corals know when you're about to feed them. Once they feel the pumps go off, all the pollen just stretch because they know they're about to get food. Well, at least in my tank. Like you create, if you always do the same thing when you're feeding them, you create that behavior on the corals and that way you get better results. I'm not look at me talking like I'm an expert. You hear me? <laughs> Talking like I'm an expert on feeding corals. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying, my brother, I'm trying. Yo, my Monty, though, my Monty's, 
My DG, look, this DG right here. Can you guys see it? Yeah, you guys can see it. I love green digis. I don't know why. And this one, this is, I think this is the bubble gum. But I think I got both the bubble gum and the forest fire. I don't know. People just, when you look at pictures online of the bubble gum and the forest fire, like people call them different. I would call this one bubble gum because it's pink. I'm feeding um, oyster fees, uh, fuel, and refroids with benefits. A little bit of everything. I put about eh, the oyster fee, I put about 5 mils. The fuel, I put about 2 mils of fuel. And refroids, a pinch with your fingers. Same thing. The benefits, I didn't do. I didn't do much, cause I, like something with that food. Uh, I don't know. I don't trust that food yet until I find out what I got in it. I mean, a lot of people use it and they like it, but the one I got has um this little white pieces in it. I don't know. It look like calcium little pieces, or I don't know what the heck it is. Yo, this one that I'm feeding right now. It was a piece from Petco. I know it's green. And a lot of people don't like green acros. But I know it's something special with that one. It was talking to me when I bought it. And sometimes I look at it and, and kind of see like blue polyps on a green skin. So that's interesting, you know. If, the, if that's the real color once I bring these colors out nicely. So we'll see. But yeah, brother, just you know, oyster fees is, is one of those food man that I like a lot. Corals love it. They respond quick to it. And I know you guys probably watched that video. Um aficionado did the other day. I think it's aficionado. I think it was out yesterday or something like that with pirates um I don't know the rest of the name but that's why they feed their acros oyster fees and but they use coral frenzy I gotta try that one and see because I, I know a lot of reefers use that one for their SPS and see what happened right Yeah, what else need to get fed? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I always target fee, and then once the power has come on, I just throw a little more in the flow. And just keep my flow off for like half hour or a little more, 40 minutes. I keep the power heads on though, once they come on, that's it, oh we got 11 people, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through, I hope you guys have a, a, a blessed, what is it, Labor Day weekend, I don't even know on, on what, <laughs> what planet I'm living in, I didn't even do nothing, all I did was met with Mr. DKH, that's about it. That's about it. But yeah, brothers, my clownfish still looking bad, sad. I mean, she's when uh, the color looking better, and she eats like a beast. Matter of fact, before the flow come on, let me show you guys. This. Like I'm not, she's skinny. You guys can tell she's super skinny. She's basically a skeleton float floating in there right now, but she eats. Come here, baby. Here. She eats like a champ. There you go. 
But it's getting me a little bit worried right now because um, if I got I got to feed it now with the flow off, because if I got the flow on, she will miss a lot. But she eats fine, man. You see her, she's eating fine. So whatever she got is something that is it just eating her from the inside out. Christmas? Today is Christmas. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, it was Christmas for Mr. DKH. <laughs> nah, it was my joy to give it to him, man. Like, it's good, you know, like like when you go somewhere or you meet somebody and, and they hook you up, you know. I do it because they have done it to me. So why not? I have people, well, you guys know about Drama D, you know, hook me up with equipment. When he didn't have to, I didn't pay a dime for cheaping or none of that. He did it all from his heart. So I do the same thing, you know. Um, the guy that I buy corals from. Every time I go, if, I, if I'm going to spend money, usually it's $100. And I always get out with a bunch of corals out of there for $100. And it's not like if I buy Zoas, it's not like two heads or three heads. No, bro. He always give me a colony, basically. A small size colony with like 15, 20 heads of whatever he got. Always prices are like 20 25 30 So... They don't go higher than that. And if basically with everything he got. Of course, you know, some refer get attached to certain corals that they don't want to sell until they got plenty of it. And he's no exception. He got some corals that I try to get from him. And he told me to wait, <laughs> you know. But I'm a good refer. I wait. No problem, you know. Like... He got to get blessed first before he can bless me. So, same thing, you know. If I'm blessed, I can bless other people. Why not? But he got some nice pieces. That guy in that basement, he got some fuego. That I can't wait to go back and see what he got now. So, the only incident that happened this week here is... One of my, my, my green Aiken is the Aiken that I got. It is only green. It's not, it don't have no other colors. I'll show you guys real quick. But I know exactly what I think it happened because um, I thought it was like RTN because it happened overnight. But I also did a dumb move. But I put it in this tank now and you guys see. Half of the skeleton is gone, but still got half alive. So that's when I know if it if it didn't keep dying, then it was my mistake. It was my mistake. Why? Because I put it next to this chalice here. And this chalice was right here in the front. And the coral was right here. But lately, my hermit crabs was walking all over that Aiken, so I probably think that all they did was poop, put it upside down on top of that chalice, and that chalice went to work. So, because nothing else, you know, is showing signs of RTN or nothing like that. It was just that one. Here's Marvin. This is the most beautiful fish in reef keeping. <laughs> yeah bro but then I got worried because you know I got this Aikens here so I got scared they had some sweepers or something and start killing those but those they just you know ate earlier so I guess they still digesting the food that I fed them earlier so I put in uh, um, putting out some nice colors look at that one that one right there look yellow to you guys right now the head in the middle right there but all that is rainbow, man. I, I posted some pictures already on Instagram one time of that one. That one be, if I know what I'm doing now with the feeding, hopefully it's going to bring those colors out nicely. So, but look at the difference when it's closed. It shows some orange, 
some green also but that's how it looks when it's open <laughs> they look like donuts <laughs> they look edible Halloween donuts so I moved this frag here because it was not getting no light so hopefully now it just come back you know so as they be okay next to Aiken so I don't think nothing will happen to that one um, here that's one of the ones that I looked at it wrong and those in the middle don't want to open no more so don't look at it too much and then the Kimitas, they open it now, but one still close. They they open. Don't look too much. Just quick. Real quick. Those blue eye blondies. Look at that. That's just amazing. Well yeah guys, so you see now the flow is back on. Let me grab that little cup. So I still got some food. Whatever is left over, I just do it for tomorrow. I could do a early feeding if I want to. Or if I wake up in the middle of the night, I could throw a little more on the flow. You know what? Fuck it. They just feed the whole thing. It's not going to hurt nothing. It's not hurting nobody. It's benefiting the corals. Look at that. Now it's cloudy. But I won't let the filter or the pump run for an hour now. Everything's going to get full. I know tomorrow I'm going to have all all over the glass, but it's okay. It's only on the glass. But yeah, so this thing's here. Like that one, like I say, got some nice colors. Purple polyps. Talking about this thick one right here. It got some nice purple polyps. I love it. When I look at it with the glasses, it's just amazing. Let me see if I put the glasses on this joint. Let's try. Yeah. Kind of. That's how it looked to me with the glasses on. You see that one? You can see some burgundy on it. Look at the pink on that one with the yellow on the bottom. My garf is growing like crazy. You see the purple on that one? Now you can see it. That one's looking nice. I don't know why. I got both lens together right now. I got the yellow and the orange. That's the orange by itself. It just looked blue. I don't know. And this is the Orfec lens, so probably my phone. I got the iPhone 8 Plus, I think it is. I'm late. But I put both. I put the yellow and the orange together, so it could look this way. So this is what I just posted on my Instagram. Beautiful, beautiful. I got a lot of babies on that one. Who, my clown? Oof, my clown is old, bro. She's about eight years old, I think. But the the male is about the same age because I got them both the same the same week. I got I think I got the male first, and then I went and got the female. And it's only on her that that's happening. That's when you know they ate something. But yeah, she's about eight years old. About eight years old. That one's growing. Look at that green monty. Or digi. That one's growing. This one are almost touching. Pretty soon. Um, oops. Glasses on the floor. Glasses on the floor. My algae is going crazy down here. Look at all the algae. That shadow mixed with Kalarpa, mixed with some other crazy algae. Yeah, bro. I think it's, it's, it's some type of parasite inside her. Um, 
I can say nothing else. It, for me, it's a parasite. There gotta be something. It's something. Or either she ate something that it just meant messing up her stomach, her guts, or something. That now, you know, she cannot process food the right way. It could be possible. You know, a piece of plastic, a piece of paint. I don't know. Something. A piece of metal. Uh, you never know. A piece of glass. Anything. Anything can be possible for that. But yeah, guys, so things are doing good, you know. Um, like I say, the only thing that happened this week was this one. That was the only one. You know, half of it died. But it's still there. Now, growth, I'm seeing growth like crazy. My hammer is kind of close, you know, but it got heads all over now. They growing like crazy now. The frost bond also got multiple hex. And it's crazy guys, cause this joint was almost dead. And Straight Reefer knows that. He was the one that told me, oh, pick it up from the sand. <laughs> the spot that I had it, it was no good. And also the light, man. I think I was r running one AI Prime on a 27 gallons. I think it was. So. Look at this sauce. With the Mandarin. With the Mandalorian. That's a Gorgonian. Beautiful Gorgonians. I love Gorgonians. I got to frag this one. I got to cut a piece for the 40. I'm thinking to cut this arm right here. That way you guys can appreciate that red Monty right there. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that arm. Boop. That way you guys can appreciate that Monty. And that way when you look at it, even though it looks good like that now, but you guys going to get to see more of that Monty there. Plus it's almost touching it, so... I know soon that Monty touched that stylo. Probably the stylo is a gunner or the Monty is going to be a gunner. Either or. I don't know which one is more aggressive or which one would dominate which. So, I don't know. Another thing that I know I lost and I don't know where it, did it, where, where, where it go was my C fan or my, I think it was a feather duster. A yellow one that I had. I had it right there. It's a hole right there, so I just stuff it in there. But then I think I saw it fall over there, but I never picked it up and now it disappeared. So it'll probably die. And I didn't realize it. I was looking for it last night, I couldn't find it. My anemone's doing good. She's going to sleep. Around this time, she always gets small. You know, what else is going on that you guys don't know about? My firefish are sleeping. That's where they sleep. I don't know if you guys get to see their face, but it's hard. It's dark in there. Oh, pump is back on. Turn it off again. Now you see, I sit here for a little bit. Turn off the pump, put the glasses, watch the corals. And, you know, just look at everything to see how things are doing. And you guys probably come in here. You guys say, what's wrong with this guy sitting next to the tank? But that's how we reefers are. We just sit and watch and study everything that's going on in the tank. Make sure you know exactly what's going on. Probably some of us take it more to your chest than others like me i do take it to my chest you know i want to see things doing right i love the hobby so i don't mind spending hours and hours sitting here next to the tank and just watching all this beauty you know like a lot of people don't have this how you say this 
this joy of having a reef tanker that in their in their house so or if they try they can make it happen you know we do that one got more heads well not more heads you guys know it got four i mean it's five in total it's five yeah it's five the big big one and three little ones all around it that one Ariosito, look at that one yeah i wish you guys can see the the like the real colors of this joints I always, well, probably the cameras, you know, but I always ask myself, I see people's, some people's video, and you see these colors on the corals, unless it's they tempering with the video. That's the only way. But I see some colors that you be like, hmm, how did he get those colors? <clears throat> Who don't love God stoppers? Beautiful Zor and the fruit loops. You see? Look at this one. This one they more darker than this one. This one are more brighter. And it's the same. It's the same colony. I got a lot of those. Those grow like weed. And I love them. They beautiful. They got that bluish to it. Let me put this lens hold on. Let me give you guys some better close-ups. Look at that. That's beauty. That's beauty in the making. So watermelons, I think, are these. Got stoppers. The bombies. Bombies are beautiful too. I wish I could make this bigger. How can I make it bigger? Oh, there we go. <laughs> See? Now I can make it bigger. Oh, I didn't know. Look at that, guys. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? It's amazing. Some of my cyphastras. How can I lower the color? No, I can't I can do it. I can zoom in, but I cannot lower the color. This one is coming back nicely. The blue is just coming back. That one's kind of like this one, but this one has a green body. That one has a blue body. And now, look at that. Look at that beauty. These are the Bob Marleys, for those that don't know. The Jellers, the Crazy Clowns, however you want to call these, the 10Ks. This one's, a lot of people like them, I don't, no more. I mean, I like the grow pattern, how they grow in like a ball. Probably because of the frag, of course. But this is the, um, the blue tubs, tubs, something like that. They look purple here, but they blue. To the naked eye. The DGs. Look at that. You guys got in some close ups, man. too far away that one this one i wish you guys can see this one in person this one the skin is green and when i got it that's why i fell in love with it because look at all those polyps 
It's on top of Monty, but the polyps, they look dark green here. They blue. They actually blue. Hard to see, but they actually blue. And the blue is coming back now. Like completely, completely now. Oh, look at there. Look at those sexy. The sexy is on top of the anemone. Yep. So you guys see the flow still off. That's only the power heads. The flow still off. You know, I suggest you guys do that, you know. I don't know how you guys feed your tank. Some people, they just feed it and then turn on the filter and, nah, man, let the corals eat. That's what I've been doing and it's working. I'm seeing growth. I'm seeing colors. You won't regret it. You definitely won't regret it. So try it and see and see the results. I'm doing it with another coral and I'm going to make short videos so you guys can see the difference. Um, I did one video so far, but every time, like every week, I'm going to make another video until like two months, you know, just every week one video. So probably going to be eight videos in total. And you guys gonna see from where it, where it's at right now and where it's going. So you guys probably gonna enjoy that, and you know probably try yourself and it might work. So yeah, guys. So nothing, guys. So that's that's all for tonight. And I got to get ready for it tomorrow, go back to, oh my God, I don't want to go back to work tomorrow, but we had to go make that money. But just want to give you guys something late night to watch for a little bit. I'm just about to eat a snack and get ready to go to sleep. The corals ate, I'm happy, so... Now it's time for them to go to sleep, and me too. So thank you guys. Hope you guys have a nice weekend. And, you know, let's get ready to go back to work tomorrow for those that work. And for those that get to stay home, just keep enjoying the vacations. They're going to be over soon. <laughs> nah, guys. So thank you. Thank you for coming through. And like I always say, i see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Cali's out. See you guys.